Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're going to be doing another live stream here tonight uh, with the Tulsa Golden Hurricane taking on the East Carolina Pirates. Uh, you can see behind me the records coming into this game. Tulsa sitting at three and two, while East Carolina sits at two and two. Tulsa coming off a tough loss to Nevada, which I was not very happy about. Um, but again, uh, I got a clear head here coming into this game. I know what I did wrong. Try to get into a shootout and this team not built for a shootout, not built to uh, really gun the ball down the field uh, through the air. This is more of a grinder team. Get it done on the ground and, uh, and not turn the ball over. That's the key to the success with Tulsa. So we're going to try and stay focused tonight on that game plan we want to run the ball don't turn the ball over and make some stops on defense and that should get us a win uh we're heading on the road though to east carolina so we'll see how that plays into things um but overall yeah tulsa very spotty um this season but like i say really with the losses that i've taken i'm going to take full blame for those uh just really not using the best approach for this team. This team, definitely a grinder, not a greatest show on turf type style where you're you're throwing it, you know, 30, 40 yards down the field and hitting bombs. Um, if I get one here and there, fine. But I've got to stay focused on what the true heartbeat of this team is. So run first offense for sure. Um, but I just want to welcome everybody in tonight and, uh, thank you for your, uh, support, continued, uh, views. Don't forget if you like what you see, you're definitely going to want to, uh, follow us and, um, definitely, uh, turn on your notifications. So, you know, every time that we go live that you will not miss a thing. Uh, we dropped some new product product last night. Um, the WWE bash in Berlin. Uh, cr created by me on WWE 2K24 or 20, yeah, 24. Um, that came out last night. That was very fun to put together. I think it came out as a really good product. And I think everybody seems to be enjoying it a lot. So if you haven't seen that yet, definitely go check that out on our channel. Uh, whether you're watching on Kick or on Twitch, it's available on both. And if you uh, want to see it somewhere else, you can also go to Rumble and search Xstream. And uh, it'll be there as well. X uh, dash and then stream is uh, how it's spelled on Rumble. Or just go HH Network also works to find it. And then real quick before we get started on this game, 
I do want to remind you guys about the upcoming fantasy draft that I will be doing live uh, Wednesday, this Wednesday, by the way, August 28th, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, yes, it'll be my fantasy draft. I'm going to be drafting my team, and I thought we're going to live stream it. That way I can kind of give some tips, tricks, whatever, and uh, you guys can definitely kind of see where players are falling as the draft goes on to get you ready for your upcoming drafts uh, before the football season kicks off. So definitely tune into that again. That's going to be on Twitch, uh, Kick, YouTube, uh, heavyhitternetwork.org, all the places we live stream, it's going to be available. So you're definitely going to want to check that out again, hit your notifications so you get reminded about that because that is coming up very, very quick. I still got a lot of work to do to be prepared for that. Um, but the uh, the biggest part of it to get prepared, I am ready for. Uh, so I'm, I'm just getting ready now for any last minute uh, changes to rosters, injuries, stuff like that that I've got to just kind of go back, swipe through one more time to make sure I am all dialed in and ready to draft this season. With that being said, nothing else really to uh, get off the table here, so let's just uh, get to the field. Welcome to Dowdy Ficklin Stadium, home to the East Carolina Pirates, where the purple has engulfed this place as they are ready for a showdown. What we have in store today, a clash between a pair of AAC squads. As we'll see, the Tulsa Golden Hurricane taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the East Carolina Pirates. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. All righty, here we go. Let's hope for happy endings here today because, uh, like I say, the last game, I was not feeling very good about anything going on that day, and uh, it showed on the field, unfortunately. So we're in a better mood. We're ready to go. We got a game plan, and I think we've got a beatable opponent. So let's make it happen. He just has a way of elevating everybody's play. And he's a point guard, too. So good at distributing the football, finds the open guys, and he makes this offense go. Makes it. Oh, there's a hold. You can see it. Everything is Damn it. available, but you're not playing with one arm behind your back. You've got all guns oh, blazing. Open. Oh, 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 oh. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Line gets set, first down. Williams will pass. It's incomplete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. And that's why these guys play defense. If that were an offensive player or receiver, that would have easily have been a catch. Come on, man. You've got to catch that and make that a pick. On second down, wants to throw. And the heat gets there. Fourteen yard line. Not sure exactly what led to that, whether the protection wasn't right or the quarterback just didn't see it, but the result was a negative play in a set. But one thing I do know is that quarterback had no chance to get that ball downfield. That pocket was breaking down. Turn it up. Oh man, so close. Fourth and one. You know what? We're gonna be aggressive here today. You would have really hoped that you would have gotten that extra yard on third down, but now on Let's see what we got. Let's see what it looked like. Definitely looks like there's an opening there. Yes. All right. We got away from the holding penalty, which really put us behind the eight ball. So reset. Here we go. Back to the back to the game plan. On the ground, it's Jackson. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground. Short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Here's the give off the left side. Nice. And a good solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for passing. 
That'll be enough for the first down, and they'll mark it at the 48. All right, run game looks good early on. That's a good sign. It's a big part of what I do. We believe we're the more physical team, and we're going to run the football, even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. Percy Mack and myself, uh, if you guys didn't catch it live, uh, last night we're on, testing out, trying to figure out how we can do some uh, chats in the future, uh, just random chats. We were talking college football, we were talking video games, had a lot of fun doing it. I did have some audio issues again that him and I are still trying to work through and, and learn. Um, we're still fairly new to this game as far as streaming and uh, so lots of trials and errors still unfortunately would have been really good if it would have uh, turned out well i was going to definitely post it but um unfortunately due to the audio difficulties we had i did end up taking that stream down so like i say unless you saw it live um it's no longer vi viewable uh, on my channel now if you go to percy max uh twitch i believe he still has it up there um, he had a little bit better of success than I did with his stream. Um, so you can definitely probably still go check it out there. And that's just P-U-R-C-Y-M-A-C-K. So, uh, but yeah, more, more shows like that to definitely come. Uh, just having good conversations, strong opinions, how we do. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. They've been running it, but nice, the nice. Got his man. That's what I need right there. Good hands, boy. Good hands. Beautiful. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism. He's very mm -hmm. difficult to cover one-on-one. -on -one. Defense is going to have their hands full with him today. A first down run in the red zone. He's running hard. He he's not going down at, at contact. He's he's pushing through for extra yardage. So this is good. Second and goal. Running play to the left. Ah, trying to get in there. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And they've been able two to yards. Get Let's go. Nope. We're going to run it in. That's a heck of a drive. I damn near took the entire first quarter. Really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TD. Yeah, good running. Good running, good blocking. Couple critical catches in that drive. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And there we go. AT makes it seven nothing. All right. So that was a methodical 17 play drive for the touchdown. And finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25 yard line. So the East Carolina Pirates offense taking the field first chance we have to see them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Feeling some heat. I think we got a hold. To the left. They make the stop, but there is a flag yep. on the field. We'll see what that's all about. And that was a receiver oh. downfield. Offense. Okay. Only a five-yard penalty the then, but the coach accepts it, they will take the I'll still take it. Got it. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. They're going to test oh, the yeah. defense. Oh, yeah. Nice. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. That's the end of the period, and Tulsa has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Lots 
of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. I still feel like this team can finish with a really good season and uh, see what bowl we can get into. But I uh, just got to stop having those big... Oh, there we go. Look at that tackle. Yes. Wow. And you're seeing the pass minus the eight yards there. The <laughs> and that quarterback got lit up. This defense has as they corral the quarterback for a loss. But yeah, I think Tulsa is actually a really good team. I'm just mismanaging them. I, I just clearly look at that. In the two games I've lost, definitely tried to use this team how they shouldn't be. Ah, uh, shoot, you know what? I don't want to do that. Let's go. Now, one more stop and they can and get off the field on right. third and long. I think we're good. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. Don't you Good let him get a first down. Thank you. All right, and he's fourth down. Not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Pirates line up to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Trying to play a little field position with that high, high punt. Good field position and coming out of this one. The air for the fair catch and the Started on uh, uh, East Carolina's 41. We'll get another or at my own 41. Do it again. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense. To be physically pounded. The run is coming. You know it's coming, and you can't stop it. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano y mano up front, and your guys getting a push. They know you're running it, and they still can't stop it. Here comes the offense on first and ten from the 47. They'll ride the hot hand. You know, I think a big Still got three out of that. Scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. What those big fellas get lathered up. On second down, he'll let it fly. Oh, you got to catch it. it you got to catch it. But it just dribbled out of his hands. Yeah, you got to catch it. He was open. He had an opportunity. He just got to go look that thing. A lot of times guys are catching it, and as they're catching it, you see their heads start to turn to try to think about getting upfield, and they just lose that concentration for a second. A little missed opportunity oh, there for this offense. Nice. Good thing that wasn't picked off. Tulsa will be forced to send out the punt team. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. Gets his first one of the day away. He might be a little stiff. He only used 15, twice in that loss a week 16. ago. Carolina sending the offense back to work. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Going to the running game. Got room at the 35. Oh, look out. Wow. Mm. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, ECU! Man, this guy is such a weapon because he's so dangerous. If he gets into the second level, great vision, and then him, he shows you his speed. Just straight wheels, erasing angles. A lot of times when you're chasing guys that are so fast like this, you're like, I got him, I got him. No, I do not. What a big, long touchdown. Run. Pat, those stats, young fella. to attempt to try. Splits the uprights. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Alabama has the lead right now, but this Tide crowd is restless. They just haven't been able to separate themselves yet here inside Bryant-Denny. They're up by 10 over Vanderbilt. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They'll go to the ground. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. 
coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. They'll keep it on the ground to the right. They'll mark him down at the 37. Good blocking. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. They'll try the run. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple of carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Caught near the sticks. It's Smith. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. Another good Andy seven yards really there. Nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Audible called. Off the play fake. Looking to mm. make tight end. Pressure was on me. I did not have the time I thought I was going to have. And I uh, had to get rid of it. So. Got it. First down. Nice. Been really impressed watching this offense this year and how good they are on third down. The reason they're so efficient, they don't have penalties. They keep these third downs manageable. And they've got a special talent at running back. There we go. Good. Touchdown, Good drive. Saw a crease, nothing but green grass and opportunity, and he flashed through it for six. And when you can get 30 plus yards out of your running back and he can make big plays like that. That was this, great blocking man, on that one. Just follow the blocks and the get to the end zone. Look at that. Seal them off everywhere. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Eight plays, 80 yards. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they close the deal with a 39-yard run to the house. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep Good the tackle. Ball. Got off that block. Just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. After picking up a couple at second and eight, Garcia wants to throw. Got it Ain't downfield. It. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. It's a first down. They'll stop the clock to reset the chains. Offense up tempo. Looking to move it through the air. Ooh, popped him. Man, I want the interception there. Second down. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's throwing to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. On second down, he'll let it fly. Fires to the big fella. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. And the Pirates want to pick up the tempo. They want to just keep throwing it. Ooh. And he fires over the middle. It's incomplete. Come on. After the misfire, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw right down the middle. Oh, he caught that? Wow. They've got the defense wow. Big play to the 29. I tried to time that the hit perfectly to knock it loose, but. He held on. He's looking to throw it. 
There we go. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. And now on second down for this offense. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. And that's going to be incomplete. Drop that one, too. Contact on the play, but no flags. Let's go. Let's go. Down. Press coverage they right here. Third and ten. To do if they want to convert this one. This would be a long field goal attempt at this point. Uh, damn it. Oh, there's a flag. Probably on me. No, on them. Nice. Yes. Oh, that is huge. That is huge. That also knocks him out of field goal range. Man. That's a killer. All right, let's just go underneath here. Let's make sure they don't get a first down. This is a big thing. To to oh, they're not even trying. Oh, that took a time out there. Find any room and he wow. It in they lost so. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to oh, make sure try they a field goal? everybody on the same page. Shoot. And I'm going to get a good field position if they miss this. To go give it a shot. That's a long field goal. Yeah, that's a big what miss. A no that's kind of foolish on their part. Because now I got great field position. Hmm. I don't need that much to get in field goal position myself. And for me, it's just a bonus to try one. That doesn't mean, mean I have to make it, but just to get the opportunity. See what we can do. Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. If you like old-fashioned, grind it up, run over in football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. The give to the tailback. Oh, uh, I got a flag and down. The is down and Damn so it. Was a flag. Hold it. Okay. Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. Yep. Looking for a productive play on first down. Williams will pass. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. I just love this guy's instincts, right? When things aren't open right away, he never panics. He just understands the situation where he is on the field. And he's so confident in his own natural ability that he has the ability to run, go get the first down, keep this drive rolling. Oh, shoot. Damn it. Come on, guys. Third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Trying to escape and get it himself. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. He'll go he range now. Out of bounds, but mm, that was huge. Big and a first down that was offense. huge. It, it's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme, there is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up and he's 20, 30 yards down the field, and there's nothing you can do about it. He'll try to do it himself. Six seconds to go. Do I have time to try one extra point? Or one uh, pass? They'll have just enough time to get one more snap before the half. He's looking to throw. Oh, damn it. I know better than that. God dang it. That was so dumb. Had a guaranteed three points. Didn't need to force anything there. My tight end got picked off. Didn't cross like I thought he was going to. By the time I figured it out, he was triple covered. Dumb. That was a timing play. I, it's, that's the one I know I've got to get rid of quick. And so I don't really have time to read, read it. I just have to trust. Man. Oh, that sucks. And if you thought that was a quick first half, you'd be right on the money. An offensive showcase, yes. But it's been those dynamic running backs who have set the pace. I'm curious to find out if this ground and pound approach 
is going to continue into the second half, or if one of those defenses will actually show some pride. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. All right, I'm kicking off. Here in the second half, and Tulsa will kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. They start this third quarter, one possession game, and hoping to get an early drive going. This offense is ready, and they're ready to take the field here and see if they can get something established. They don't have to change everything and reinvent the wheel. They've had some successes in the first half, so let's get that continued here on the opening drive. Yeah, and I love getting that break at half to go talk with my coaches and pick my offensive coordinator's brain so I know exactly what I need to do to attack this defense, and I get ball first. DB's locked up tight on the receivers. The oh, I was right with them and ran right past them. Ah. No God, I had that scouted perfectly. They go to the ground. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. The Pirates will hustle to the line. Fine play action. Coming after it. Get him. Yeah, that's a big sack. To go for this big now sack. And this offensive line's got to do a better job. Man, you got to protect right. your quarterback. Listen, this offense is not playing great. They got to somehow find a way to start to get something together here in the second half. Oh, yeah. Good play there. Balls at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's Come on. third and long. Do your job, defense. Looking down Do your job. Needs a bunch. Oh, you got to pick it off. <laughs> oh, wow. He would have been gone for six, too, if he caught, picked that one off. There was nobody heading the other way. Kicks it high, and it's just hanging there as if it has... Didn't get a little bit of return, but not much. And they'll get him on the All ground right. as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. That last drive was a punch in the gut, throwing the pick in the red zone, Jesse. Yeah, it just seemed like there was some miscommunication down there in the red zone. David, this drive, the QB and the flag have to do a better job being on the same page. Yeah, and I think you pull the positives, right? We move the football. Guys. We had a chance to score, but we can't let those opportunities Stop slip. Stop with the penalties. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Line gets set, first down. Williams looking for a man. Quarterback extends the play. He finds his man. Nice play. They make the stop, but not wow, really pick up a lot of yards there. Move the sticks. The number one goal as a defense is try to hit the QB as many times as possible. Try to rattle him, try to get him flustered a little bit. Nice job of getting there, getting the hit on him, but nice job of executing by the quarterback. Taking the hit, delivering the strike. They're going back to the ground. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. They'll try to run for it. Ooh, it's close. Got he got it. Just got it. Well, as a defense, you know this is going to be a challenge every time you face this offense. They're one of the 25 best in the nation at getting first downs because they can pick them up in a variety of ways, including running the football. Six more yards. When facing them up against this offense. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense going to change something up these little tiny first down dink and dunk, dink and dunk. you keep doing this they'll go all the way down the field on you so you might want to get a little bit more aggressive Tulsa seems to have the whole playbook working 
to the ground. He's got it again. Another and six. I mean, six on first down. It's second and four. When you're averaging six yards a carry, you're going to keep getting first downs with the run. And that's exactly what's going on here. They will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Mm. Dominating with the run right now. This is what my team is. This is what the, this team has to play like. Like I say, you can get the passes when you need to. Here and there. Looking for space. But, oh. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. How many holds are we gonna have today, guys? Come on. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Here comes the offense on first down. Williams will pass. Nice blocking, guys. On. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. Moving away from pressure. Another hold. Try to get it himself. Big pickup before he goes oh out of bounds. But there is a flag. We'll have you to guys. Open. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Offense working from the pistol. Just shooting myself in the foot with these penalties. He's back to throw on second down. Finds his man. It's Smith. Several defenders get an assist on that tackle. Nice patience by the quarterback here looking to get zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. Moves away as he feels pressure. They'll force him out of bounds after a I think I'm in the field goal range. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. And this one will be a 40-yard try from the left hash. Right down the middle. Oof, I didn't think I had enough power on it. Even bigger. All right. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? So Terrific despite week, having all those holding penalties, I still was able to on. manage three points out of that. That's huge. Is running away with this one, thanks to an offense that's been sitting right. since the opening kickoff. They're up 14 over Kentucky. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see them here, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. On the move from inside his five. And the returner will be dragged down. East Carolina has it back in the Purple Pirate offense. We'll go to work. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance Let's to answer here. stick with what we've been doing here. time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stock follow and get you the football game. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. They keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Pick it off. Oh, excellent coverage. All right. good Still good defense. Knock it away. And those corner routes, those quarterbacks can throw the ball with some air and put it towards the sideline, away from the defender. You could tell a little bit, maybe underthrown. The defender. Did. Oh, sorry. Nothing there. Lost the yard. That's big. Three and out. That was a key possession by East Carolina to try and do something. Oh, don't. <laughs> Don't run into the kicker. He gets a block. He'll get it up to about the 44 okay. yard line before they slam So now I just got to do my job. Stay level headed. Stick to the game plan. That last drive and get through this. Go get that win. Like Everything's they lined up for me. No doubt, Reese. They had a lot of good stuff going that last drive. Need to get Four yards there. That, that will end the yeah, third I think quarter. You definitely want a touchdown, but if you put another long drive together, getting points, multiple possessions in a row, start to let those body blows add up and wear this defense out. All right, one quarter to go. 
That's the end of the period. 17 7. Has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. We we'll get this quarter going with a second down play. They go right back to it. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table. Oh, just got it. Kind of ran into a wall. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. Gonna run it. It's Jackson. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats nice. and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. And I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by Wow, 30, time of possession. I just saw I just want to get the first huge down. advantage by my team. Understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Running behind that left side. And a good solid pick up there before the defense knocks Nine it down. yards on first They've down. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting nice block. Picks up another first down. On, that is a good sign for the offense. Clock is just a ticking. I love when players understand situations. He's going to go under five minutes right now left in this game. And they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set Three of downs there. instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. This drive has already drained more than three minutes off the clock, and now they've got it on second down. Darn right. Leaves it with the back. There to stop him after a pickup of three. It's down to the 15. All right, third and three. They're trying to extend this already long drive. The ninth play is a third and three. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this. Uh oh, face mask. He's got enough for the first down, and they might get some x ray. It looks like a face mask to me. Face mask. Yep, I saw that one. It's been said over and over you have to protect players' head and neck area. So five yards out so now. At the college level. Tulsa will come to the line first down. First goal. Just over three minutes to go. Legs, it's Jackson. And he's in. Into the end wow. Of the They're now in really good shape. Such a good game. The win column as they extend the lead here late. Versus the last one against Nevada, on which we definitely should have won. I just got all the tools in the toolbox. Really calling a bad game. Done, and he's showing it. That's his 10th rushing touchdown on the season. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three possession, 17 point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, think we got to hold. Too predictable that last drive. They got to yep. do something here to get this defense on the heels. He goes oh, out of bounds open. after the big play, but there is a penalty marker on the field. Let's see what that one's about. 
So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. First down here for the offense. Garcia to pass. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They bring him down. They get a big 12-yard gain there. That's a good job by them. And the Pirates moving quickly to the line. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback can throw in the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. And that time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone. They executed that perfectly. And a great job by the QB, finding the running back, getting the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He works his way in. Inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. This is an offense that has skill and they've got speed. And because of that, this defense, they can't lull themselves to sleep. They've got and he's all bottled up and now it's worse. The ball is loose. <laughs> Man, I wish I could have recovered that. Magnet going back to the offense. How in the world did they keep it? It's all right. That ball carrier so that's is a second and 18 that now. Easily could have ended Should be the last play before two minute warning. They've got to do a better job with ball security. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third Put and pressure long, on. Trying to have a big completion. Oh, yeah. Fires into traffic, picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. He's at the 40. The 20. Yes, indeed. 87 yards back the other way. Ashton Williams. Confidence over there as they're closing in on a week seven win. He's been good this season. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly. That's a killer right there. Breaks on the football. Makes the they were driving, but everybody on I was just buying my time. I wasn't gonna get aggressive. Wasn't gonna start blitzing. Give him something big. Just wait my time. And then good things are going to happen. There it is. Ashton Williams all the way back. 86 yards. That's good stuff. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. Minute 45 to go. And it'll come East Carolina has three timeouts, no but I mean, this is over, right? East so Carolina now it's just a matter a of will go to work. finishing as strong as you can on both sides. Both sides are trying to finish this game strong. Game. It's been a frustrating performance, Jesse. Yeah, and listen, you can't be hanging your head just yet. This game's not over. This coaching staff is still about... This Carolina will take a timeout on the field right first. Now, you've got to finish this game. You've got to try to prove something to them. Well, the game is over, to be clear. They're not coming back. But I, I hear what you're saying. Keep fighting. Keep showing your coaches it matters. And maybe find... Oh, I missed him. <laughs> I wanted to light him up. Completely missed him. Look at that. <laughs> Well, play action does so many things. When you run the football, run the football, and have success, it slows everybody down. Not just the linebackers and the safeties and make them come up, but the defensive line. They're thinking. Do it again. On the way out. Do it again. Off. Do it again. He'll try to take it back. He's at the forty. Do it again. Yes. New New Campbell getting in on the game now. And this thing is just getting out of hand now. It's a big win for Tulsa, though. Big. Any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is, anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on. Gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone.
Oh, yeah. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point just tacks This is the kind of win I needed, though. I needed this. Yeah, for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Illinois has been blitzed from the opening kick. And as you can see, the score right now is a lot to a little. Let's see how this coach tries to explain this. They're trailing by 17 to Ohio State. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Now on second and short after the first down completion. Garcia wants to throw. Nowhere to go, just has to throw it away. I did notice on that previous play, East Carolina did not take a timeout, so I think they're just basically running this clock down now. They're not going to try and stop the clock anymore or anything like that. Pop the ball out. That will have to punt. The Pirates will send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. And they'll down this just inside the 35-yard line. The Golden Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. What a feeling this has to be, David, in complete control and headed toward victory formation. Yeah, no stress, under a couple minutes left in the ball game. Well in hand. These are the ones, Jesse, you like to just run the clock, take a knee, whatever you want. No doubt. They're going to love watching this game film, too. There's just so many positives to take away from this, and this is the kind of performance today that is really going to help this offense's confidence. Give to the running back. He's final that will do it. Down, but that freshman found some running room. The clock is my friend. If I can do this late in the ball game with a lead and I can continue to run the football and they have no answers, well, then I'm going to walk away with a win. So, listen, I wouldn't change a thing. I'd keep pounding the football, keep running the clock. Not only the scoreboard, but the clock on the side of the offense as they take me, though the D can stop it a couple more times. Well, this one had all the suspense of a bug hurtling his way toward a windshield, and they did splatter them an absolutely dominating performance. You've got to give the coaching staff a ton of credit. They obviously had their guys ready to play and motivated right from the opening kick. All three phases we saw, just spectacular football. No mental mistakes, David. You really can't play better than that. Nah, it's, it's really fun to do this. Come out and just dominate opponents. Start from finish. Uh, nothing to worry about. You just know you're better. You're going to do you. Put up a bunch of points and win by a lot of points. And that's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. All right, guys. So you can see it was a pretty easy day. 38-7, uh, the, the win. Scored in every quarter. Uh, did not let them score in the second half. So it really was a pretty dominant performance the entire day. Uh, total yards, 379 to 255. 296 of those yards coming way of the ground. Quarterback got in on uh, getting some big runs as well, which is a good thing to see. Um, but I told you I had to run the ball to be successful. And that's what we did. 48 times we ran the ball, 296 yards, three touchdowns. As for East Carolina, they ran the ball nine times for 79 yards. They had good success, but the problem was they fell behind. And then at the end there, they just they couldn't run anymore. They had to just try and air it out and get back in the game. Did not work to their advantage. Led to some key turnovers. Uh, you can also see from the passing side of things, uh, Tulsa was 6 of 11 on the day. East Carolina was 15 of 25. Uh, Tulsa averaging 7.5 yards a pass. East Carolina with 7 yards a pass, so very close there. 83 passing yards to 176 for East Carolina. But you know what? 83 passing yards is all I needed, and that's the key. I can't get caught up in trying to get 300 passing yards. That's not who this team is, and that shows it right there. 83 passing yards. 
but yet we win 38 to 7. That tells you everything you need to know. Another big stat, third downs. Look at this. 8 of 11 on third downs for Tulsa. 0 for 6 for East Carolina. Also had one fourth down conversion on one attempt. Red zone, 33% for Tulsa. Zero. East Carolina never got in the red zone. So they just or didn't have success, I guess, in the red zone. Whichever way you want to say it. Uh, turnovers. East Carolina. Two turnovers. I had one. So advantage me by one. Uh, what else we got here? Total yards on the day. 426 to 320. Penalties. Lots of penalties in this one. Five penalties for me for a total of 50 yards. Four penalties for them for a total of 29 yards. And then time of possession, which tells you everything. 24 minutes, 13 seconds for Tulsa. 7 minutes and 47 seconds for East Carolina. That is ridiculous that they had the ball under 8 minutes the entire game. So that tells you everything you need to know. I came in with a game plan. I told you that game plan. I executed the game plan. And I got the result that I said I would get if I checked all the boxes above. And I did. So this feels really good. This was a, a much needed win. I'm telling you, I think this Tulsa team is a very good team when used properly. They were used properly. They had a beatable opponent. And they went out and they smashed them. Smashed them. And that's how good this team can be. So run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. Uh, look, the my back was against the wall a few times just from penalties. The holding calls really got me in some bad situations. But again, I didn't panic. I didn't try and sling one down the field to catch everything up in one play. I just broke it up into chunks. And I said, okay, let me dump a pass off here and then break a run here and then pull the ball down and run with the quarterback here. You know, I just made smarter decisions. I didn't force the action. The only time I forced it was the only interception I threw all day, and that was in the end zone when I could have just taken another three points. You know, so again, the errors are gonna happen. You just gotta limit them. And when they do happen, you've gotta make sure that they don't take advantage of it. And that's what we did. So. Whew, that was a much needed win. I feel very, very good about that. So we're going to um, advance the week here. Let's advance the week. Oop, I gotta go here and right here. What I wanna do is I wanna advance the week, see what my next matchup is. What time is it? And do I wanna try and get one more in? I don't I definitely got to get my Michigan season going again. I haven't played that in quite a while. So, yeah, okay. Uh So we're going to week 8. Come on. So, that's the next matchup. The Blazers against the Golden Hurricanes meet for an American Conference game in Tulsa. Both have the same record of four and two. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a really interesting game. Hmm. Yeah, so look forward to that tomorrow night. Uh, that will be the game on the docket. And then we're, we'll try and get in a, um, a Michigan game as well from that uh, season or the dynasty, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we'll try and knock out one Tulsa and one Michigan tomorrow night. Um, if not, we'll definitely knock out this Tulsa game. This will be the one that we would uh, attack first. But, wow, that's a great matchup right there. 
Um, while we're up here, let's take a look at the standings. These are out of order. So in the American Conference, I am currently sitting third, but look who's right ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is, that's a heck of a matchup. That, that's going to be game of the week right there. That's exactly what you want. And what I don't get is it says they're seventh and I'm eighth. So why was that? Can somebody explain that to me? Why would I be in eighth when my record is what it is? Is it because of my conference play? Uh, where am I going? I want to go back here. Right there. That's, oh no. Where the hell? Right here. They're 12th. So who's first? Charlotte at three and two. How is North? Oh, are they different? I don't know. I These new college rank or, uh, standings, I really don't understand. But look, at the end of the day, what I'm looking at is win and loss and uh, win percentage. And by that, I'm sitting good, so I know I'd be in a bowl contention for sure if I can just keep doing this. Uh, North Texas, so what? Wow, what a season! Five and zero. Oh. They've of course won five in a row. Um, that's interesting. That's that's a great season for them so far. But yeah, UAB and Tulsa, head to head next game. Don't miss it again. Hit your notifications so you get the alert when we go live. Because this is a game you're not going to want to miss. This is going to be a a big one. And uh, again, though, I feel 100% confident that if I come out with a game plan that uh, I, I did tonight, I don't see any reason why I can't just keep winning. And that's really what it comes down to. Come in with the right mindset, execute the plan, get the win, go to a bowl, win the bowl, you know, and just get better and better. And uh, I'm getting a lot of good recruits for next year. So this team's only going to get better. But with, with the win that they did right now uh, and with the stats they put up and the interceptions they got and the sacks they got, this team's good. This team is dangerous. And uh, it falls on me. It absolutely falls on me. I have to call the right plays and execute. And when, when we do that, big things happen. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, keep checking us out. Follow, notify, notifications on, and uh, definitely go check us out on Rumble. If there's any games you miss that you want to go back and see what you missed, and they're no longer on Twitch, they're no longer on Kick, just go to Rumble. Go to Rumble, search HH Network, or search X, uh, X Stream. If you search either one of those, on Rumble, it'll bring up the feeds that we've had, uh, the live streams, in their entirety. So you can go back, watch what you've missed, and get all caught up. You can also go to heavyhitternetwork.org. And that also, if you go to the Extreme tab, that will also have all of our past live streams. Okay? So you won't miss a thing. They're all still available to go back and watch and enjoy. But that's going to do it. So until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm out of here, guys.